All right, guys, here's another pretty cool release from Spinnaker. You can see it's something a little different. Um, I, I did a little research on some other videos that have already been made on this one, but if you look back, they did pretty much the same model like a year ago, and then it must have sold out or something, so this is kind of like a re-release. Um, so if you do search up Spinnaker Dumas, D-U-M-A-S, you're going to see there's some older videos, about a year old, and then you're going to see some fresh videos from some other reviewers, and of course this one. Um, but they have it labeled as the SP5070-02. There's a few different colors. This is obviously the blue. It has a very nice dark blue and the contrasting orange on the outside of the indices there on that track. And then, of course, that oversized orange minute hand just really pops and makes it super legible. Um, you can see the date window there. It's framed in. This does house the Seiko NH35 movement, so you're going to have the hack and hand wine. And, of course, um, we have a screw-down display case back on this guy, too. So you can see the inner workings. So overall, really good case design. You can see... A uh, little bit different crown signing there. You can it has like a like a white inlay or something in there. I'm not really sure. Um, you can feel it has a little bit of traction on there, so I'm not sure what that material is. Some sort of resin or plastic. Um, the sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. The bezel insert is actually a mineral crystal. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't use sapphire, but this is a mineral is what it says on their website. But uh, definitely it gives you the legibility of the loomed portion underneath there so overall super legible really cool watch i'm going to talk about the dimensions uh, if i measure the case width not including the crown guards or the crown i get about 44 millimeter you have 48 millimeter lug to lug it is a 14.7 thick and the lug width is a 22 millimeter and it comes on this very nice silicone strap here so a very comfortable feeling strap and if I'm gonna put a link in the description to their website but right now I think they're including a mesh bracelet with this um, I'm not sure if that's like quantities limited or something like that 120 click bezel very smooth action very consistent all the way around like doesn't feel like there's any play in it and everything lines up really good so um, overall, I think this is a really well-built watch. Uh, I can give you some close-ups here if you guys want to check it out. You can see the dial has a little bit of depth to it. You can see the indices are actually part of that outer chapter ring going around there. So it's an interesting way to do the dial. And, of course, that minute hand it just really stands out. I think that's a really cool feature of it. So we'll get a loom shot here and, of course, a wrist shot. So let's toss this bad boy on wrist. I did notice with this strap, um, I think I like to put it a little bit tighter on the wrist, otherwise it feels a little top heavy. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what it would feel like on a mesh bracelet. It might balance out a little bit better, but if you if you put it so it's a little snug on wrist, it actually wears really good. And you can see on my seven and a quarter wrist, it just, it wears fine. So super legible. Signed uh, hardware buckle here on the back side. So I'll close you guys out. I'm gonna keep this video pretty short for this guy. I'm going to close you out with a loom shot. And uh, I do have to say Spinnaker actually gave me this watch, so I will be sending this over to a couple other channels for them to check it out and maybe do a video. And then I'll probably, once I get it back, I'll probably do a giveaway or something like that. So one of my viewers, uh, one of you guys, I'll definitely randomly just pick one of you and uh, I'll end up gifting this to you. But it might be a month or so down the road. So uh, be patient, but uh, this will end up gifted to one of my viewers. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, uh, Spinnaker, for donating this to the channel, and I will see you soon.